The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD, available from SDC Publications. In this video, I'm going to cover the steps for creating a custom workspace and setting up your user interface in AutoCAD 2015. When you first open AutoCAD 2015, you'll see this screen. If I wanted to start a drawing session, all I need to do is come over here and left click my mouse where it says Start Drawing. But I want to point something out to you first. There's a down arrow right below where it says Start Drawing, and if I pick on that, there are a group of template files that are available to you. Template files in AutoCAD end with the extension DWT. And you'll notice that the one that says ACAD.DWT is highlighted. That's because it's the default template file. If I wanted a different one, I could select from this group that's down here. But I'm going to go ahead and select from ACAD.DWT. This puts me into a drawing session with AutoCAD. And I can see that I have a grid and some other things. I've got a ribbon up here across the top that has some panels for the draw tools, the modify tools, annotation tools, layers, and so on, which we'll get into later in the course. The first thing I want to look at though is how do I customize the screen so it has the tools that I like to use and so I'm going to show you what to do. In the upper left hand corner you have some quick access tools and there is a down arrow right over here on the far right. I'm going to select on the down arrow with the left click button and I'm going to come down I'm going to look at what's available here in the screen and one of the first things I want to do is turn on workspace. When I do that, it's going to open the workspace window, and I'm going to pick on the down arrow here. I have a few workspaces to choose from. I have drafting and annotation, 3D basics, and 3D modeling. I'm going to select drafting and annotation, and uh, AutoCAD will set up the uh, tools and everything for drafting and annotation, and really you won't notice much of a difference in the screen. We're going to actually create a workspace that's customized, and so drafting and annotation is one of the ones that comes with AutoCAD. I'm going to come back to my uh, quick access tools and pick on this down arrow. I'm going to turn on match properties. This is a, a handy tool to have. And I'm going to pick on the down arrow again. And I'm actually going to turn on a, a uh, set of tools called the menu bar. I'm going to select that. And when I do that, a group of tabs opens up right up here. And there's some very handy and helpful tools in the menu bar. Another way to turn on the menu bar is at the command line, just type in menu bar, M-E-N-U-B-A-R, and press enter, and type 1 and press enter, and that will also turn this on. If you wanted to turn it off, you could type menu bar and press enter, and type 0 and press enter, and that would, that would turn that off. Okay, now that I have uh, my workspace showing, uh, my match properties tool showing, and my menu bar, there's a few other things I want to look at. Along the lower right hand corner of the screen I have what's called the status bar. The status bar is a group of tools and they're represented by icons down here. For example, this is the icon for grid and if I pick on the grid icon it turns my grid off. If I pick on it again it turns the grid on. Whenever the icon is in blue it means that the icon is on. So I have dynamic input, for example, is on. I can turn in ortho mode by just clicking on that. That will turn it on. I want to point out, though, when I park my mouse on that, you'll see a little window come up and it says ortho mode and it says F8. So it's telling me that I could also press the F8 function key to turn on uh, ortho or to turn it off. Let me show you how you customize the status bar. Come over to the right and pick on this and you'll get a list of all of the tools that you could have open. Now, the ones that I've selected here are the ones that are shown in Figure 4.5 of Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD. But you can decide later on which ones that you want to have on or which ones that you don't find helpful, and, and you could just turn those off if you wanted to. You turn them on and off just by coming over here and picking on them and turning the check mark off and on. So if I turn the check mark off on my coordinates, you'll see that I lose the coordinates are right down here. I'm going to turn them back on. You'll be able to see my coordinates. Now to turn this off, you just pick outside of there. And now, because I turn my coordinates on, as I move my mouse around, you'll be able to see that my coordinates are changing. The coordinates represent 
the distance that I'm away from my zero zero point down here on the X, the Y, and the Z axis. <clears throat> All right. Next thing I want to do is turn on some toolbars. And uh, the reason I like to turn those on, especially to beginners, is it's a good way to learn all of the icons on the toolbars. Plus, you'll use these, uh, these tools a lot. Because what we're going to turn on is the Draw Toolbar and the Modify Toolbar. But we're also going to turn on the Object Snap Toolbar and the Dimension Toolbar. Here's how you go about doing that. Come up here to the Menu Bar and turn on and just select the Tools button. Come down to where it says Toolbars. And you don't have to pick. You just have to put your mouse on Toolbars. And then you'll see AutoCAD and you'll see a list of tools opens. Now, I realize these are probably off the screen on this video, so what I'm going to do is shrink my graphics window so I can show you where those are. So I'm going to pick on Tools, come down to Toolbars, slide over to AutoCAD. Now, I haven't picked on anything. These are all of the AutoCAD toolbars that I can turn on, and they're in alphabetical order. So the first one is Draw, so I just go to the Ds and I select the Draw toolbar. The Draw toolbar opens right here. Okay, now that I have that open, I'm going to show you how to open other toolbars. Once you have a toolbar open, all you need to do is move your mouse onto the toolbar and right-click your mouse. So the right-click button of your mouse, that will open your list of tools again, or toolbars. And the next one I'm going to open is the Modify Toolbar. This has commands like Erase and Copy and Mirror and things like that. I can right-click on that one, and I can go down and into the O's and turn on Object Snap. There's my Object Snap Toolbar. I'm going to right-click on that toolbar, and I'm going to go back into the D's and turn on the Dimension Toolbar. So these are four of the toolbars that I'm, I'm probably going to have open. Uh, other ones I usually like to turn on, I'm going to right-click here. Uh, I like to have the inquiry toolbar open as well. And, uh, but for right now, we're just going to work with these, these four. So here's, how, here's what you would do next. We're going to go to the draw toolbar, and there's a gray bar here at the end of the tools. I'm going to pick and hold down with the left click button of my mouse. So I'm holding down on that, and I'm going to drag that over here to the left side of my screen. And it's going to move over there and dock against the edge of the screen. That's what we call that is docking. I'm going to go to my Modify Toolbar, I'm going to pick on that, drag it over, and let it dock up against the edge. Oh, looks like I didn't quite get it there. Try it again. There it goes. I'm going to take my Object Snap, drag it over here. It docks up against. Come on. There it goes. And the last one I'm going to do is drag the Dimension Toolbar over there. Now, if, they don't, if they're not level, you can drag them up a little bit, too. So here are my four toolbars that I want to have open. So I have my Draw Tools, my Modify Tools, my Object Snap, and my Dimension Tools. Okay, at this point, I have my status bar the way I want it. I have my custom toolbars opened up and docked against the left hand of the screen, left hand side of the screen. I have my workspace open. I have match properties open. I have the menu bar open. So all of these are custom settings for AutoCAD 2015. Now, I want to lock those into place, and here's how you do that. Go up to your workspace window and pick on the down arrow. And then come down here to where it says Set Current As and Pick. And that's going to open up a dialog box. And at this point, you need to put in a name. Now, you can put in your initials and your course name. You could name it anything you want. Uh, I'm going to call it Technical, I'm just going to call it Tech Drawing 101 with AutoCAD. All right, and remember, I could call it whatever I want, but I'm, and then I'm just going to pick Save. And you'll see that Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD replaces the previous workspace that I had. Now, I'm going to pick on my down arrow. So my previous workspace was called Drafting and Annotation. But here's my Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD. If I wanted to go back to Drafting and Annotation, all I need to do is pick on it with the left click button of my mouse. So now I'm back to my original setup, which was drafting an annotation. But I'm going to pick on the down arrow and go pick Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD. And that will reopen my toolbars, and all my custom settings are reset. And I'm ready to start my first drawing. 